So I'm starting out with spraying my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then after that sets, I'm just going to start going right in with my corrector. And for my corrector, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in two shades. The orange corrector mixed with cool tan. And this is kind of like my perfect corrector shade. I did go a little overboard. <laughs> While I wait for that to get a little tacky, I am going to put my concealer underneath my eyes and my eyebrows. So now that I look all crazy, I am going to go ahead and blend out my corrector. And I find it best to blend out with my fingers versus blending out with the brush or something. I just like the outcome of it when I blend it with my fingers. Now moving on to blending out my concealer underneath the eye. Again, I'm going to use my fingers for this as well. I just like the control that I have while using my fingers. And I'm also going to blend out the concealer underneath my eyebrows. I like to let the concealer sit on my face and dry out a little bit before I start to blend and work it into the skin. The main reason for doing that is because you have more control over where the concealer is going versus when you first put it on, it's still very wet and you end up wiping a lot off and moving it to places where it doesn't need to be versus it drying a little and you have complete control over where the product is going because it's not as wet. So now I'm going in with a concealer that's a lot closer to my skin tone. I'm going to put it right on top of the places where I added the color corrector. And it's just going to take away that corally, peachy tone. And I'm using for this another LA Girl Pro Conceal. And this one is in the color Espresso. And now I'm going in with my face powder and the face powder I use is the Luxury Press Powder by Iman in the color Earth Dark. This is hands down my favorite face powder ever. It is the only one I use. I've been using it for about maybe three years and it is so good. So that's what I'm doing now and I like to press it into my face with my brush, my powder brush, and then I like to buff it in. But first, I always like to kind of press it into my face. Now, since I set my face with this powder and it's all one color, I'm going to go back underneath my eye and add another powder, which is in a lighter shade and it has a little sparkle reflex in there. And it's by e.l.f. and it's from the bronzer palette and that palette color is called bronze beauty and it's the one on the top right and I'm just gonna add that right underneath my eyes to bring some brightness back underneath there now I'm going in with the bronzer to contour my face and I'm using the covergirl queen collection bronzer and the shade is called ebony bronze I don't necessarily like a perfect line down my nose so I use the same fluffy brush to contour my nose as well and also under my lip. Now I'm going in with some blush and I'm using the blush palette from e.l.f. and the color is dark and I'm probably most likely using the top right corner. <laughs> And now I'm going in with my highlighter and I honestly can't remember which highlight I'm using and it's either between the Laura Geller Gilded Honey or my Becca Champagne Pop. I'm kind of leaning towards the Gilded Honey um, but I honestly can't remember what I used when I did this.
And I'm also going to add that highlight under my eyebrows to the high points just so they pop a little more. And then whenever I add too much, I go over with my powder brush and just go over the areas where I added the highlight. And then to finish off the look, I like to spray my Smashbox primer again. I also like to use it as a setting spray. And now I'm just going in with my mascara, which is the Max Factor. I actually can't remember what is the name of this Max Factor mascara, but I'll be sure to leave it in the description box below. Now I'm just adding my eyebrow gel. Because I have a lot of hair on my eyebrows, they tend to move throughout the day, so it is a necessity that I add eyebrow gel to my eyebrows. And then I'm going in with my mascara again for my bottom lashes. And I don't wear fake eyelashes because my eyelashes are so curly. So I kind of like to layer it up a lot when I'm doing my mascara. Most days I put like three coats. So my lips are already moisturized and now I'm just going to go straight in and start lining them. And I'm using Max Chestnut. It's the perfect brown girl lip liner and it works with pretty much every lip color I have ever worn. <laughs> so now I'm going in with this very bold lip for me and it's the Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream by Milani. And the color that I'm using is called Chromatic Attic. I'm actually a really big fan of the Milani lip creams and this is my first one in the metallic collection and I'm definitely going to check out some more colors. So this is the final look of my no foundation makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other makeup videos and hair tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you soon.